adjust it to where you feel like it's comfortable. You can turn. This is me. And this is my PC. I'm wearing a Toshiba DynaEdge AR Smart Glasses powered with Windows 10. It's the latest development in the world of wearables, joining the ranks of Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. But here's how it's different. And this basically is really where all the brains of this computing device is. It sits on your hip that is mounted on a, um, with a case that sits here on this device that sits on your hip. It does all the computing that's needed for the AR Smart Glass. The DynaEdge computer runs an Intel Core processor and has Intel Enterprise AC Wi-Fi on it, so you can easily connect to networks. It connects to the headset, which has a camera up front, a display on the inside, a couple of mics, and a speaker. So right now I've got a USB monitor plugged in so that you can see exactly what I'm seeing inside my tiny display over here. We took a different approach by actually looking at building it on a Windows 10 platform first. And I can use the touchpad on the mouse right here. That allows enterprises to use right their so current the infrastructure, their current uh, IT image that has been approved by security and not needing to build a new infrastructure around Android. So right now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look at one of the training videos. You're now looking at uh, building out these devices into a lot of different industries. And if you get close enough, you can actually hear it over here. The device has two software options. The Toshiba Vision DE Suite is for fast and easy navigation. It lets users take photos, stream live videos, and communicate through live video calls. So I'm telling him this is kind of exactly what I see, um, and I send it back to him. The Ethere Air Enterprise software is described as an enterprise class augmented reality application that allows for step by step task flows and barcode scanning. And I've scanned it successfully. The device starts at $18.99. Recently, I spoke to Future Tech Enterprise CEO Bob Venero about his take on the launch. Venero's a Toshiba partner based in New York. They need some new technology to be able to drive, I think, in the marketing industry. And wearables is something, obviously, that's taking off. And I think it's a very smart play for them to be able to deliver some type of solution that allows a Windows 10 environment to be viewed right, uh, from a face perspective. Now the device comes after two years in the making, but it's only available to current Toshiba customers. For CRN TV, I'm Diana Blass.